students. Good morning, students, and welcome to another yet interesting computer study online class this morning. Please, at the end of this uh, lesson, please subscribe to this uh, channel, Palace of All Things. We are going to start this morning with the system units. Before now, we are discussing components or parts of computer, which we said they are system units and what peripheral units. And we are starting with the system units. The system unit is also called what? Cabinets. Cabinet. I repeat, the system unit I said is called what? Cabinets. And it is a metallic or alloy casing which houses the following the power supply unit, the processor, which is also called uh, which is also called CPU, central processing unit, the main memory. Right, which you under the memory you see the access, random access uh, memory and read only memory, which is RAM and ROM. You also see the hard disk. The hard disk is also there where the operating system is based on of the computer. Then the motherboard. The motherboard is where those are uh, the processor, the memory, the hard disk are. Uh, key to, right, inside the system unit. Then you also have this, which is a, uh, the ports for input and output devices. Now, let's see this, uh, the system unit. This is what the, we call the system unit. It is wrong for a computer literate or a professional computer to be calling this system unit CPU because it's not CPU. It only contains CPU, the main memory, and other parts, both mechanical and electrical part of the system, of the system unit. For example, it is this system unit that unites the peripheral parts of the computer system. For example, you will see that, like I mentioned in the power supply unit, here is where it's connected to the source of power, where AC, alternative current is being passed through the system unit to power the system unit. And other components, ports, which, like I mentioned here, the port for input and output. This is where you connect the, the keyboard and the mouse is this, and keyboard is this one. Those are the input uh, devices you connect to the system unit. Right? Why here, you connect the, the the visual display unit, which is the monitor, right? You can also, you are here, you connect the printer, which is the output, right? This, are, this is the system unit, it's not CPU. Please, don't ever call it what? CPU. Thank you. And we are going to look at, under the system units, we are going to look at the central processing unit, which is the CPU. Or processor. The central processing unit may be called the brain behind every action of a computer of a computer. Since it controls and carry out all the operations performed by the computer. You see, the processor we at times we call it what? The brain of the computer because it controls every action that is carried out or the operations of the computer. Right? It also Contain every, it also contains everything that is essential for computer effective functioning. If computer is function is as a result of the CPU or processor inside the system unit. I hope you are listening. So, inside the system unit. Now, the system unit has components. The system unit, I mean, the CPU has what? Component. The system, CPU is inside the system unit. The CPU is also called the processor. It has what? Components. The components of the C CPU are what? The control unit and the arithmetic logic unit. And the control unit is also called CU. While the arithmetic logic unit is called what? ALU, which is ALU. 
Now, let's look at the control unit. The control unit is the main part of the CPU that control other parts of the computer system. Input is first enter the control, sent to the control unit. From here, it is then sent to other parts of the computer to be to be read. To be to read. It reads in a stop program. First thing, once an input comes in through the input device, the first thing it is stored through the memory, which is the main memory. Once it's stored, the control unit now retrieves the one that is needed and read it and send it to, to other parts as being instructed by the program. Right? That is why you have it. It reads a stop program. The one that we store on the memory, the CU, which is the control unit, we read it, and once we read it, and we send it to, to other parts as being instructed according to time. And secondly, it directs other components of the computer system to perform the tasks required by the program. Is that clear? That is the CU, which is the control unit, under the CPU. Now, the next component of it is arithmetic and logic unit. Arithmetic and logic unit, ALU. Arithmetic and logic unit is called ALU. Right, that is the short call. It is the actual execution of instruction that takes place during the processing operations of the system unit. Now, secondly, all decision and calculation are performed here and instruction are carried out through what the ALU. It's a logical part of the CPU that carry out what instruction and execute. For example, when processing this, when processing is taking place, it helps to analyze what go to. For example, if you are keying in anything that has to do with numbers, right? Comparison, less than, greater than, right? It is the ALU that is responsible. ALU simply means arithmetic and logic unit. Now, when when processing takes place, the data and instruction store in the primary st storage. In the primary storage, are transferred when needed to what? ALU. They are transferred when needed to what? ALU. Any ALU is capable to perform basic arithmetic operations like subtraction, multiplication, addition, and even uh, comparison operation like less than, greater than, if less than, equal to, and this are this is what the ALU perform in the uh, central processing unit. So we are stopping here today. In our next class, we continue from there. We might continue from the main memory. Today, you will see that we are through with the processor, which is the central processing unit. Right? It's also what called what central processing unit, CPU. We are true with this, we are true with this one. Are true. So in our next class, we talk about the main memory and other parts of the uh, system unit. So if you have any question, please direct it to our WhatsApp group. Then we can uh, treat it together. Also, once again, subscribe to this uh, channel, Palace of All Things. Thank you very much, and God bless you.